Hey guys, it's Marathon here, and we are making the cinnamon oatmeal cookies. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you're going to bake these cookies for 10 to 12 minutes until golden brown. To start off with, I get a large bowl, and I take a cup of butter, a cup of softened butter, and I put that into the large bowl. If you need a better measurement, it's basically two butter sticks. And then you're going to take a cup of sugar, just like granulated sugar, whatever sugar, a cup of sugar, and add that into your one cup of butter, and then mix it with a hand mixer until it's lightly and fluff, light and fluff. It took me a little bit to get that sugar out. A cup of sugar, and don't make fun of my mixer, it's super old and it's my grandma's and that's the only one she had at the house. And in this, I forgot to add it, but you're supposed to also add into that mixture a cup of packed brown sugar. I forgot to add it, so we took the cookies off the pan and we added it. So yeah, do not forget your one cup of packed brown sugar into your butter and sugar mix. And it started to clump in the thing, and I asked my mom what to do, because I wasn't sure. So she just literally did what right there. So if that happens to you, look at just like stick it above the mixture and let it go and then it will like all like fly out. And this took me a minute, I don't know why. I just really wanted to do that. So uh then I stopped and then I showed you what it looked like. But do not forget to add that one cup of packed brown sugar into that mixture because I forgot to and I had to re-add it. So in this clip, my mom had to get something out of the tray, like the drawer. So I had to move my whole tripod back and all that stuff. Now I am going to, next in the recipe, it says beaten egg and vanilla. So you have to take two eggs and a one teaspoon of vanilla extract into your, your butter sugars mix and just hand mix that again with your mixer. I don't know why this took me so long, but I guess I'm a very slow worker when it comes to baking. I'm 
there's the vanilla extract that I'm using and the one teaspoon that I'm using for my vanilla extract. Um, I recommend an easy tip is to pour the vanilla extract over your mixture in case a little bit gets off. But if you want to be completely exact, do it over your sink and then bring your mixture over there and pour it into there to be exact. But I'm not that exact. And then mix again. Um, mix until whatever you think it's supposed to look like. Mine obviously does not look right because I forgot that brown sugar. <laughs> so yours might be a little darker and a little more dense. That is what it's supposed to look Well, that's not what it's supposed to look like, but that's what I ended up with. Now, in a smaller bowl, you're going to mix your dry ingredients. I don't, I really didn't know what to do with that large bowl, so I kind of just move it around. So, there's my uh, smaller bowl. I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. As you can see, I already did a batch that was correctly with the brown sugar but you know so I'm looking at my recipe and it says combined a the flour so uh, you need uh, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour and it took me my mom had to get back in that drawer I don't know why she kept having to do that but she did <laughs> And I am a really messy person, so you'll see me mess up a couple of times. I wanted to show you guys my flour. So there's my a half a cup and my cup. I started with my cup, and you want to do the leveling off thing. So this is where I messed up. I got some off the edge. And I was like, oh crap, mom, I messed up. I got this real dirty. Um, so I leveled it off. You can't see it in this. I try to show you in the, uh, the, a half a cup. But this one you can't really see how I level it off. But there is, that's when it's leveled off. I patted it down. I don't know why I did. But I just wanted to, and I was like, oh, well, that's not exact. And add that into your smaller bowl. Now I take the half a cup, and I scoop it. And hopefully you can see this. Oh, there you go. So I take the knife, and on the back of the knife, I just level it. I just go across the flour to get all the extra flour off. And that's just how to be exact. And that's just how I've always taught how to do it. But if you just want to put that much flour in, go right ahead. I bet it's not going to taste that good. But that's to be exact. Next, I look on my, um, my recipe, and it says baking soda. Now you're going to take a, a cup, one teaspoon of baking soda, and that, add that into your flour. As you can see, I'm reading it. I'm really slow. So I try to find my teaspoon because my mom took it. And then I finally find it. And I use it for baking soda. You're going to need that teaspoon a lot. So make sure you're ready to clean it off. So, I didn't know how to do this at first, so I was like, uh, I'm like, no, I was like, no, I'm not going to do it that way. And then my mom came over and she showed me. Uh, so there's like a little flap on the baking soda, so you put it in, and then you scrape it off the top. And that's just how you level it off. Pure baking soda, and there's my teeth, my one teeth. You can't really tell when it's in there, but it's in there. Next, I look on my recipe and it says cinnamon so I go and I need a uh, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and I do not really like the smell of ground cinnamon and I didn't really know how to get it out of the container so you can see me trying to pat it over there so finally I just took the top off and I just worked with what I had it's not pretty exact I don't show you me putting it in there 
but there's the ground cinnamon that I used, and I don't show you um, me putting the cinnamon into the bowl. You can kind of see it from where it's at now. The bowl, like on the side, you can kind of see it because it's pretty dark and that's white, you know. I finally get the ground cinnamon to come out, and I, as you can see, that's what it looks like. So I took the cap off, and I finally got it. There's my ground cinnamon, and I don't really show you, but you can kind of see the ground cinnamon into the mix. And I make sure that you guys can see. <laughs> Next, I look off of my recipe, and it says the baking powder. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So there's my baking powder, and I show you baking powder. And a half a teaspoon. And I messed up here. I was like, what? Oh, nope. <laughs> a, tea a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and I just kind of patted it off. I think I level it out with my finger, which is don't do that. And I made a mess. Of course I did. Because I am a mess maker. Oh, nope, I get a knife. I get a knife and I level it off. Look at that. And I show you. And then I add it. You can't see it, but I'm sorry, but I do add it. Um, next, you add salt. Um, you just need a half a teaspoon of salt, which my salt. I pick it up, just normal salt, whatever you use. I just took it out of the, the salt container. And so I had to unscrew the top of the salt container, and I had to have my mom get it. Well, no, I took the the half a teaspoon and put it in the salt container, and then I um, leveled it off on the side of the salt container, and then I came over, you'll see me come back over, and I'll add it into the mixture, the dry mixture. There's the salt. And I show you me adding it. And then I look off my recipe. And then it says gradually add the um, the creamed mixture and mix well. So I stir that with a whisk. Or a whisk. I don't know how to say it. A whisk. I stir it till it looks kind of like all the ingredients are mixed together well. So I stir that, and it kind of looks like like a like um off white. <clears throat> and I show you. It doesn't really do it justice on the camera, but it does look kind of like an off-white with like black specks in it or like brown specks in it then I take that I just mix this a little bit better because it kind of like was getting a little stiff so I mix it more and then while I'm mixing that I add in my dry ingredients like I'll add some and then I'll mix. I'll add some, mix, add some, mix until all of the dry ingredients are in in the um, butter mixture. And make sure you get like really on the side and everything. Your mixture will be more dense than mine because of the brown sugar. But if I would have added that brown sugar, it would have been darker and more and denser. You could have told when you were mixing it because it would have been hard to mix. I think I added all of it. Oh, that's all the like dry mixtures into there. And I get on the sides and all over the bowl.
I don't know why, but I, I like the way the mixer like makes the shapes out of the dough. Yeah, I think I add, oh, no, I don't. I have a little bit more left, and so I add that back into the mixture, and I turn my mixer back on and mix it until I think all the dry ingredients are in the dough. And then make sure to scrape the sides and get all that done. After this, you're going to need a quick cooking oats. And I just used a spatula. And you're going to add that into your mixture because if you use a hand mixer on the oats, it will crush the oats up. But it's an oatmeal cookie, so you want the oats to be in there. Not to be crushed up. So I grab my spatula and my quick cooking oats. You're going to need three cups of them. So I put a cup in and then I mix and then I put a cup in and then I went crazy and I added two cups. And so I mix. It's really hard to mix so you're going to need some muscle to mix them. I think I'm getting my oats and my spatula right in these clips. Yeah, that's the spatula I use. And then there's my cup. I show you. I put a three up to show that you need three cups of it. And old fashioned oats. Um, I just use like the generic brand, and it's brand new, so I just opened it. So I take a cup and I put it into the mix, the bowl of the ingredients, and then I mix. You can't see me mixing it, but I mix it by hand. And it, the oats do make it pretty tough, so make sure you have a lot of muscle to mix this. And I add a cup. There's my cup. And then I just went crazy and I add the second cup. I should have, you should do a cup, mix, cup, mix, cup, mix. Just to make sure that it's, it would be way easier to mix. But I just went crazy and added it, so do whatever you want. And I showed you what it looked like. And I know I've said this so many times, but mine is going to look darker and denser because you're... Yours is going to look darker and denser because you added the brown sugar and I forgot. <laughs> After the mixing that, you're going to need a baking sheet, um, an ungreased baking sheet. Okay, and then you're going to, I just, it's going to make a dozen, like I made two dozen, so you're going to need, I just put them in rows of three and then down I went across three down four which three times four equals twelve so there's a dozen and when I put them on the sheet I use a butter thing like a butter scooper but on the recipe it's a shape into one a half one one half balls so I guess that's just eyeing it but whatever you want to do on how to make it that's totally fine and then you're once you put them onto the sheet you're going to bake it for 12 to 10 to 12 minutes until golden brown so estimate what you think they're good enough and then you're going to cool the cookies for one minute and you move on to a cooling rack 
So these, there's me struggling to get the dough off of the spatula. And then I am going to go to a different clip of me putting the cookies onto the sheet. I never show me adding my brown sugar in, but I add it when the camera's off. Sorry. Um, this is, I'm just scraping the sides to get, like, all the dough. You can't see, I don't know why I didn't show you, but I'm just scraping the sides of the bowl to get all of the dough. Because these are me and my grandma's favorite cookies. And then I think I get the scooper out and start scooping, but I don't show you until the next clip. And in the end, the cookies are going to be pretty thin, so don't expect them to be like really light and fluffy cookies. It always depends on the size you make the balls and um, how long you cook them. So every time I've made this, it's been, they have been um, thin. So now I'm going to show you the cookie sheet. So, this is my baking sheet, and make sure it's ungreased, or like, what does it say? Yes, an ungreased baking sheet. And as you can see, I do three across, and then I'm going to do four down. I kind of mess up, so you can see me mess up. Um, so, yeah. So, there, I do three across, and then I'm going to do my fourth row down. And that's what it looks like, basically. <coughs> so, there's my mess up. But I'm going to go and let you watch me put these on. So, see you guys later, and I'm going to show you a picture of the cookies finished. Bye.